Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. Today we're going to test out ActiveTrack on the Mavic Air 2. Today I'm going to walk you through the active track features of the Mavic Air 2. This is not the kind of device like the Skydio 2 where it can follow you anywhere and everywhere, but it actually does have some pretty good active track features for, for flying and keeping you or whatever your subject is as the focus of your shot. And I'm going to demonstrate how those work today. Uh, I'm also testing, you can see on my screen right now, I'm testing out uh, free well neutral density shutter uh, uh, filters. I'm at 100 ISO and 100 sick, or at 1 60th of a second. On a bright sunny day like today, there's no way I could achieve that without using a neutral density filter. So as we're shooting today, you can notice how nice the uh, images look and that's the Freewell filter that's doing that. I'm at a review on this uh, on the filters coming out soon. Uh, when those are done, I'll have it linked in the corner and uh, uh, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, to get the uh, active track going, what I'm going to do is pull the drone back here and I'm going to walk over here. I have to remember I'm wearing a microphone so I don't have to shout. Okay, I hope I'm going to pull forward a little bit. Hopefully you can see the drone and me in the shot here. To make the active track start, all you have to do is draw a box around your subject. So I'm right there, I'll draw a box around me. And the annoying tutorial pops up, I hit skip and close. Now I got three choices. I've got active track, I've got spotlight, and I've got POI. By default, it comes up in the middle, spotlight. And that's real simple. It basically, the drone is just gonna hover there as I move around, watch, and the, the drone will continue to follow me because it's, I'm the subject. I move this way. You can see the drone rotate. Also, if I move the drone, it's gonna continually keep the camera pointed right at me. You see the gimbal's tilting down. I'll take it back. And it's keeping me as the focus. Pan over to the side, and basically it's going to fly a circle. As you can see, it's flying a circle because the, the drone is continually rotating to keep me at the center of the shot. So if you really are <laughs> narcissistic and you want to keep the camera on you, no, if you've really got a, a shot uh, of yourself that you want to want to keep it focused on you maybe you're flying it back out and you want to create a, an establishing shot to show the area you're in or whatever that's a good way to use that that feature I'm gonna bring it back to its starting point here and to hit to, uh, to get this to stop I just hit the little green X on screen and we're out of active track mode bring it back here now let's choose the next active track feature draw a box over myself so let's choose active track and go try it again and it's doing it so now we're playing follow the leader and the drone is following me around. This is a very rough field, so I'll try not to kill myself as I'm doing this wandering. Now I'm gonna make a sharp cut over and it stops and just spins. And it comes back to following me. Let's get it back here where it's in the camera view. Okay, that should be in there. Now I'll walk at it and see what happens. 
so you can have it follow you from the front it's not as smooth and easy for it to do this as it is for me to walk away from it but it will do it all right so I'm gonna hit stop and hit the green marker and we're out of active track again now we're going to show the next one which is called uh, parallel draw a box on me okay now I'm going to choose parallel and go so now instead of following me it should try to stay at my side when I walk to the side see it's it's a little behind me but to the side I come back and it's doing the same thing now I'm gonna take it up a little higher it's still in its parallel mode so if I move this way it will continue to move parallel but let's try to confuse this thing I'm gonna walk right at it drone doesn't like that <laughs> but in this case, see what it's doing? It's confused. Right now, it's buzzing all over the place. So it has finally reacquired me. But you can see how you can confuse this drone. This is one of those limitations that I was talking about. <clears throat> I have, in testing this, actually confused it where it couldn't lock onto me and it was just buzzing around I finally had to stop it because I didn't know what the thing was gonna do so keep the drone in uh, clear sight as you're testing these modes or do using these modes I'm gonna hit stop and hit the green X and I'm out of active track for this next one I'm going to step out of the camera view, actually I'm going to go behind the camera because I want more space because we're going to have it doing a, a circle around me uh, as a point of interest. So I'm pulling the drone back here so we can be safe, I don't want to crash into any tree. Nobody's giving me these drones for sure. There I am. Alright, so I'm going to draw a box on me. This time I'm going to choose the circle. Now I can, I can have it go fast by dragging up on the arrow or I can change direction. So I'm going to hit go. And now it's drawing a circle around me. And it'll keep doing it until I tell it stop. So let's walk and see how the drone behaves you can see that it's adjusting its circle to keep me consistently at the center point so this is actually something you can use to get a pretty cool shot if you want now I'm walking at the drone and it adjusted again, backed up. So it's keeping me at, trying to keep me at the same distance that it was when we first started this circle. But I can, with the sticks, adjust, take it further out. So you can control your circle, the shape of your circle, with your sticks or by moving your subject, you or whatever your subject is, during the shot. That makes this a pretty flexible little tool. This is different than the uh, quick shot circle or orbit or whatever it's called because that only flies around you once. This one 
keeps going until you tell it to stop. No. No. All right, I'm going to hit stop. And I hit the little green X. And we're out of active track. So that's a quick look at your active track function. You can see it's a pretty simple function. It's easy to use, easy to do, as long as you stay within the limits of what it can and can't do. Again, if you're looking at something that really goes crazy and follows you through the woods and all this crazy stuff, get a Skydio. That's a much better drone for that kind of capability. Mavic Air 2 has some of those capabilities like I showed you today, but it's a better all-around drone camera than the Skydio, so it's just a matter of what you want. Now, if you do want to get a Mavic Air 2, I hope you'll use the link in the description below and buy it direct from DJI. If you do, you'll help support this channel so I can make more tutorials, more reviews on this drone and other drones for you. Speaking of other videos, on screen there's a playlist of uh, videos, tutorials, and reviews on the Mavic Air 2, so be sure to check those out. Uh, and uh, but, but before you go, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I publish again. As always, your comments are appreciated. I appreciate the likes, the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.